Hi, this evening I like to talk about leaks. When you buy leaks, they probably look in the store like this. You see this, there's a root on there. It's white, it gets yellowish and then dark green. Now when you have it like this, you take it home, you keep it in the refrigerator till you use it. When you use it, some of those outer leaves are a little bit not so nice looking. You cut them off like this in an angle. You see this? So now it's nice and beautiful. Then you have to cut the root off. You cut the root off just here. Don't cut all the root off, like with the onion. Just the main part so the leek does not fall apart because the onion holds it together. When you have it like this, you make a horizontal cut just like this. Turn on your water, and the way you wash leek, you have to wash each leaf. You see in each leaf, there's a lots of dirt in there. So you take one leaf at a time, and you rinse out the sand. You cannot soak it or cut it up or just keep it under running water like this. It will not go between the leaves. That's very important. It was one of them. We made a little wrong cut here. The second one, the same way. You see this? Stirred in here. You wash it out like this. Just wash it out like this. And then the third one. So wash it out each at a time. There's nothing else you can do. Don't wash it up and keep it soaked. You have to wash each at a time like this. When you have it like this, you cut it in like two inch pieces, put it in a pot, and then you just put some stock on it and cook it like this. Let me give you another little tip. Anytime you cook leeks, you want to use a little cracked black pepper. That's how you cook it, salt and black cracked pepper. In case there's a little sand left, you always can tell your family what's the pepper. So much for leeks. I wish you good luck with it. If you want a recipe, I send you one, and I see you. Don't forget the pepper, just in case it goes quang, 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 yeah?